Athletics are an integral part of their education in, in a high school environment because it's one of the three main pillars of our school board. One is the academic, uh, one is the God-centered or Christ-centered education, and the other one is extracurriculars or co-curricular activities, which include sports and all the other activities the schools offer. They bring those skills into their daily lives at school, in the classroom. Uh, it really fosters the energy that, you know, makes schools tick. It has made me a better person, um, never giving up, always going for what you want, uh, better in school, it's helped me in school, just by um, listening to teachers and like listening to my coaches, listening to my teachers. I find that like during school, I'm able to like balance my schoolwork very well with athletics, but it's made me very fit in life, so like even during school when we have activities, like I'm able to push through them just like the same as I would do during athletics or sports. Athletics is very important as we teach our students. As you know, within our Catholic school system, we teach the entire child, the whole child, socially, emotionally, physically, academically. It's through participation in co-curricular activities, many of our sports really provide an opportunity for our students to show, demonstrate, and really highlight their full potential, the potential that was given to them through Christ Jesus in their birth. I think for the individual, they're clearly important because especially uh, at the elementary or the secondary school level, uh, being part of a team, you know, allows or provides a student with a, a part to be part of a community within that school. And uh, I think that that's very, very important that they have friends and uh, and people that have similar interests so it really helps in terms of belonging and building community which is critically important. It really influences my time management skills, working a job, being on student council, wrestling. You have to really know how to manage your time and that really, being an athlete, not only being an athlete but also being a student, you have to learn time management skills and being an athlete does help with that because you learn how to juggle more things at one time in our schools uh, as well. Athletics uh, in schools really helps to build strong spirit and a sense of community and that's critically important for the well-being of the school, not only athletically uh, but in all areas. Uh, and for some, you know, students that are gifted athletically, obviously it helps them in realizing their goals uh, to go on to, to play at the university level or beyond and we see that happening in many of our students. But generally, I think it's just to give young people an opportunity to participate in things they love and to help build school spirit. I think being an athlete, the most important thing is to be disciplined. And that's not only with your sport, nutrition and strength, but it's also in your uh, daily life where you have to be disciplined with your homework, uh, your school, school, friends. You have to be able to manage all that. And it's important to have a well-rounded life, not just specifically focus on athletics. So. I think discipline would be the most important thing that helps an athlete to be um, who they are in their daily life. Faith is an important part of our athletics program. Um, first of all, it's, vis it's visible. I know before every CYO game you say a prayer, so that keeps the faith tied in. Um, it's also vis uh, visible around the schools. Uh, they have paintings or um, murals in the gym showing our faith. But I also think faith is very important to athletes because I, I can connect to my hardest time as an athlete, an obstacle I really had to get over. And I know there's only really one thing that's keeping me going, and I know it's God's uh, backing of me and strength, telling me, you can do this, you can get through it. My coaches have taught me pretty much everything I know, and they don't, it's not just at track that they help me, it's like outside of track, like I can pretty much tell my coach anything. We set goals. We try to set high goals or high standards for them to achieve. Uh, and by setting the high goals, we make sure that the bar is high enough that they strive to achieve it every day, not just at practice, but in games. Uh, and sometimes uh, they struggle to achieve those goals, but the more they struggle, it's all part of the journey. 
uh, instead of just the, uh, the accomplishment. The journey is as important as the actual uh, culmination of the trip. I think it goes back to Catholic education, not just in, in Hamilton per se, but all across North America. And it's been a, a way of breaking through the ice. We offer two elements other schools don't offer. God and a good quality sports program, which tries to develop the entire student in, ter in terms of in ter developing the entire student as a human being, not just as an athlete or a student in one element, but all three elements together. Uh, that, that's why it's been successful at our schools. We really do our best to incorporate faith-based athletics. Uh, and if I think back to my days in elementary school, there were teachers there that supported me, not just in the school at CYO, but they'd also come to see me play rep basketball or come watch me play a baseball game. And that really meant a lot because you know they're not just backing you as students or athletes, but they're backing you as people. They really want you to succeed um, and do well in the future. And I think that's a big thing about what happens to our athletes and students um, in our board, that they're really pushed not just in school, but outside of school as well. Joining athletic teams is a commitment. And for someone who is joining a new athletic team, I would say you need to time manage your skills, time manage your school, because school is one of the most important things. So grades would be the first thing I would tell them to maintain, but also having that commitment and being aware of what it takes to be a high level athlete, if that's what you choose to be. So I chose to be a high level athlete, therefore I took the steps to being that focusing on my school not only, but also focusing on my athletic ability.